Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be working on planning the week of July 24th. I cannot believe that it is the end of July already. I only have a few short weeks before the school year starts back up and everything just gets chaotic and busy again. So this week I'm going to use this beautiful kit from Fabulously Plans and it's tropical, it's relaxing. I think it fits. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, let's look at this gorgeous, gorgeous kit. So fabulously planned, um, made this kit. This is their EC 622A Lush. Um, I've been holding on to this one for a while. I'm not quite sure if they still have this in their shop. Um, I love it. It's this beautiful beach scene with all of this beautiful leaves and palms and birds of paradise and hibiscus flowers and pineapple. It's just, I think it's going to be perfect for this week. So here is the full boxes. We have some checklists, some boxes, more checklists and habit trackers, some glitter header, headers. Can't talk today. I'm so sorry glitter headers and some um, scripts and then some regular headers little things and to do's and then the washi date dots and date covers i'm gonna pair with this kit some simply gilded washi that i pulled um this one here is from one of the most recent releases I really thought that the colors went well with this kit. But when I went through my washi drawer and found this stack, I don't know how long ago I ordered this stack. Some of it was still in the plastic packaging, which if you have watched any of my videos, you know that as soon as I get my Simply Gilded washi, I unpackage it and swatch it in my swatch book. I went through my swatch book. There was nothing there. I must have been super busy when this came in and just never swatched it out. So I'll be using this stack for the first time as well. And then I'll be writing in um, my planner and on the stickers with the Simply Gilded gel pen. So I have my vertical Erin Condren planner here. Let's see the week of July 25th. I even said at the beginning I was planning the week of July 24th. This is how um, not ready for the end of summer I am. <laughs> okay, so it is the week of July 25th through July 31st. Um, I still cannot believe that we are at the end of July. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole thing here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the bottom washi. Ooh, hold on, get stuck right there. Okay, so I love the colors in this washi. So the washi is a little bit longer than the bottom here. And you know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up with the bottom of this bottom line here and I'm going to go ahead and just have it be a little thicker bottom washi this week. That's perfectly fine. Um, I don't have as many things to plan so far so I think utilize, utilizing some of that space is going to work out um, and not get in the way too much. So let's just make sure I get it almost the same and lined up here. All right, this is an older kit, so it's a little bit shorter on the ends here. That doesn't really bother me. Um, kind of used to that at this point. I Sometimes I wipe that out. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so we are at the 25th. I'm gonna go ahead and get these dates here. It's the end of July. I mean, it seems that like July flies by and I have no idea how we got here so quickly. Um, but here we are. We have a few things coming up this week, um, dentist appointments, things like that. I always try to get that stuff done before the school year starts. 
All right, got those date dots on there. And let's go ahead and put these up at the top. Let's see. Now, usually I like to put a header or something down here. So which one do I want to use? Do I want to use this bright one at the top? I kind of want to use this one in the middle because that's bright. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one here. Let's see how this looks. I'm gonna fit it right in, in there. Get this out of the way. Alright, and we'll put this one over here. I might need to fold my planner over to get to the edge. Let's see how this works. It's getting to the point to where my planner is really full on this side, but not the other, because I'm right at the end of it. And so it's hard to work with sometimes. Okay. Alrighty, there we go. So I'll put that on there. So now I can put the date dots on. I'm going to go ahead and flip this upside down and get my white out. And line these up. Ooh, I like the way that looks. So it's got these palm fronds here on the date covers, and then I lined it up with the palm fronds. It is a lot of green, but this kit has a lot of pink and yellow to it, and um, I think it's gonna balance out. There's a few on here. date covers on here. I'm going to save this by just cutting this portion off. And then these date dots are going to go in my binder for extra date dots so I can use them later if another kit doesn't have any. So that page is done. Okay. Let me get these out of the way so I can move the planner up. All right. Next, let's look at this weekend banner here. I'm going to put the weekend banner over here, but I want to use, I think I want to use this bright one if I can get it opened. I'm not going to be worried about this line showing through, and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay. And then I'm going to take this weekend banner and I'm going to put it right on that line. There we go. Okay. I like the way that was cut, that it was um, kiss cut there to where you can, the letters are. Um, cut out of the backing instead of having it as a full sticker. Uh, let's see. So, got the basics down. So let's do the sidebar and then we'll put the plans in. Okay, so sidebar sticker, we have some full boxes here. I am gonna use this quote box. It says, happiness comes in waves. And I love that quote, you know, it's it speaks the truth there. You can't be happy all the time, but you can sure work on making your happiness. All right, so I'm going to put, I think, that one here. Actually, I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to, 
I have been liking doing more of a rough edge cut on some of my washi instead of using the washi cards. I just kind of hold it down and my finger where I want it to stay and then pull. So I'm gonna do that with the washi this week. All right, I have some habit trackers in here somewhere. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep the green in the middle. I'm gonna put this one down. Oh, a few things I've been tracking lately, water intake is definitely one of them. That seems crooked. No, it's okay. Um, so yeah, water has definitely been one of the things I have been tracking lately. I'm trying to make sure I'm drinking more of that. Um, and then taking my vitamins and what else did I have? Oh, workout, of course. I <laughs> can't forget that one. Um, my workouts really have been, you know, swimming with the kids and Yard work, those kind of things. Those are definitely a workout as well. Don't let anybody tell you different. Okay, nope, that one didn't rip where I wanted it, but that's okay. Just come back and do it again. All right, and one more. this one all right okay got that okay got my sidebar taken care of so let's go in to the plans I have my pre-plan here to help me out so on Monday we have to take care of our dentist appointments. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this yellow one for don't forget. So yeah, our dentist definitely helps us out and does the cleanings for me and my children at the same time. So I'm not there all day. So I, I really appreciate that. Um, I don't have any dentist stickers in here, but I might come back later with an emoji and fill that in. So we're going to leave that there. All right, what's going on the rest of that day? I do have a video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add full box too. So I'm gonna add my full box in there and then I'm gonna put my videos. Okay. And then here, Oop, I'm gonna pull this down here a little bit more. All right, we got a sticker for the dentist from Coffee Monsters Co. I'm gonna put him on there. I also found a water sticker for my habit tracker and a watch ring sticker for um, my workouts and then a medication sticker to remind me of my vitamins. So got those put on there. So then we're going to add YouTube here. Um, and then this video that's going up on the 25th is um, part of the uh, planning in middle school series. This is the seven by nine template. Um, for my teacher planner. So that video will be going up on Monday. Okay, what else on Monday? All right, so then we also have the weather. So I'm going to add the weather in there. And my weather icon stickers from Adorably Amy Designs out. I like to use these each week. The weather changes after I put this in here because I do a lot of pre-planning, but at least gives me an idea of what might be coming up. So, all right. So that is it for Monday as far as like the planned, planned things go. I'm gonna go ahead and white out this section 
And then let's find some headers. And we're gonna do, see all of the todays are all in green. I usually like to like stagger that. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it and then I'm gonna fill it in with my list and things like that to do later. Yes, I like that idea. Okay, so let's move on to Tuesday and we're going to fill that in with a full box here. This one here. And that will help notate the kids' schedule for the day. All right. Tuesday, I don't actually have any appointments or anything going on um, at this point. But, I mean, that could all change. So we're going to get the weather put down there. I have plenty of to-dos that I'm gonna fill this up with later as well. So, all right, and then on to Wednesday, I'm going to use, hmm, really like, well, there's a lot of leaf color there. I'm gonna go ahead and use a zigzag, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use the zigzag here. My kids have a super fun water day planned for that day. Blue here. Right there. And then the video this on this day, it's either going to be, because I'm still filming and editing at the time of doing this plan with me, but it's either going to be this plan with me or a haul video. I have been waiting on a few things in the mail and our mail has just been, it's, yeah, it's kind of not been cooperating lately. So if those things come in, then I'll be able to finish up the July haul video. All right, so I do need to put in taking out the trash. Is there a trash sticker on here? We have grocery, not cooking, happy mail. Target run. I like that sticker. Oh, I can take out the trash. Ah, there we go. All right, and then I'm going to use this must do. I'm going to put it here. Okay, and we're going to layer today that one. Oh, let's get that a little bit. Okay. All righty. And the weather. There we go. Stickers keep sticking. All right. And notate the kids' schedule for the day. And we do have payday on this day. I know I saw one on here. Here it is. Payday. And I think I'm going to use this one. It's a pretty full box. There you go. I always forget about the glitter headers that I have those there. So we're going to put the payday there. Okay. What else on Thursday? I have my husband's work schedule needs to be notated on this day. So I'm going to go with this one. All right. And get one of his stickers out. All right, and then weather. So weather on Thursday. Looks like the storms are going away. The heat is staying. Um, I like this one, this one's super pretty. But you know what, I'm gonna put it down here. I like to stagger them a little bit. I don't want them so close to each other. All right, and then video for Friday. Where did that other one go? There it is. I'm looking right at it. Okay. Okay. 
Friday and then the video for Friday is either going to be a plan with me or I'll be working on the next video in my teacher series. So I still have to finalize that. Okay, and then coming back here to annotate the kids' schedule. All right, and then I'm gonna white out this here. Okay, so Saturday, we have soccer, um, and I'm going to put what I want to put her. I'm going to put her right here in this middle. I really like this. This is the weekend, and it sounds like my children are losing their minds downstairs. Okay, I'm going to put that there hopefully get some relaxation time in on the weekend. Okay. All right. So I need a box for soccer. I'm going to put this here. There we go. I still need to find some different soccer stickers. I'm running out of these and I don't have very many pretty colors, but I need to find some more of those. Um, just haven't, haven't done that yet. So we have soccer on that day. Let me look at my plan sheet here. And then we've got the weather. Hopefully it says it's gonna storm, but oh, I didn't do Friday's weather. So let's do Friday's weather. Um, Saturday, it says it's gonna storm, but Hoping it's after soccer. I just messed up that six. I don't know leave it. It's a really curly six. Um, go ahead and throw on Sunday while I'm already doing this. I just hate if they cancel cancel soccer. You know, it's, it gets to be a little disappointing. So you got to make it up, and then the season set schedule changes and all that stuff. But at the same time. We don't want to be out there if it's storming. So, and that's what the forecast is telling me. Friday through Sunday is storms. So, hopefully that system will move on through faster than they're predicting. Okay, got those on there. All right, I think that's it for like the functional type things that I need to get in there for now. Now we can just do some of the decoration pieces. I do still have this one full box sticker left. I'm not sure if I'm gonna manage to fit that one in somewhere or not because I like to leave all these, the white spaces where I add in like my to-dos like as I come back throughout the week, but I do want to add in some of this fun washi like here. Break that up. And one there. And then where else can I put it here? It's a little thick there. Let's see. I'm going to have to put it right here. All right. And then I have this one that can go here, a little palm tree in the middle. Okay, and let's see. Is there a spot over here I could do that? I could do that right here on Sunday. Okay, and we'll come back with some of this bright one. We really like this bright one, so. I want that palm tree right in the middle, so I'm gonna go here. And there, I'm gonna have to re-white out that line. I kind of pulled it up a little. Okay. And there. And let's see. Stick it somewhere in here. Okay. Move down here will work. All right, so 
So added some of that fun washi in there. To kind of fill it out. So all the places where I have the leftover type white space is where all of my to-dos for the week each day. I don't do a daily planning in the summertime. Um, I just stick with my weekly and I fill out the rest of it as I go for the week with my checklists and to-do lists and things. So um, yeah, super simple for the week and really bright and summer vibes. So I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thanks for coming by my channel and watching this plan with me and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.